Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruthie Bell and I create cutting edge products for eyelashes and eyebrows. So my YouTube channel is all about sharing my knowledge in innovation with you guys. This is the second part of our cyanacrylate series and today we will focus on how to manipulate cyanacrylates to start building amazing retention. On average, cyanacrylate makes up 80 to 95% of most lash glues. It's kept liquid inside the bottle with the help of stabilizers. But once you dispense the drop, it will start interacting with the environment and it will start the curing process. There are actually quite a few different ways you can manipulate the cyanacrylate to determine how it cures. So let's take a closer look at them. Let's start with humidity. The biggest misconception of cyanacrylate is that it dries when it comes into contact with air. But this is not true. It actually cures when it con comes into contact with the water molecules in the air. So the higher the air humidity, meaning the more water molecules you have in the air, the quicker cyanacrylate will cure. So that's the reason when you work with, uh, when you work with AC, for example, in the winter, it drops the air humidity, so your glue will start curing slower than it does in the summer when the air humidity is higher. There are a few ways how you can manipulate the air humidity of your environment. So for example, in the winter, if you use central heating, central heating actually drops the air humidity, so you might need to use a humidifier that adds moisture to the air, thus making the glue cure faster. And in the summer, when air humidity is normally quite high, you can use AC or aircon to reduce the humidity. And also you can use a dehumidifier that collects the moisture from the air, thus dropping the air humidity in your room. Just see how your glue is behaving and make your decision based on that. All chemical processes happen faster in higher temperature so this will also happen to your lash glue. It will cure faster if you're working in a warmer temperature and cure slower if you're working in a cold environment. So for example in the winter, if you work in a, in a cold room and your adhesive is not curing fast enough, you can raise the temperature in your room and your adhesive will start curing faster. And the other way around, in the summer, when it cures too fast, you can use an AC to drop the temperature so it doesn't cure too fast. The problem with the adhesive curing too fast is that if it happens so fast that you don't even reach the natural lash from dipping the, glue, the fan into the glue, it actually cures mid-air. So by the time you place the fan on the natural lash, it may be half cured or even fully cured. So for example, when you're lashing and you see a lot of pop-offs, meaning that the lash doesn't adhere to the natural lash, it may be because the temperature is so high that the adhesive is actually cured before you reach the natural lash. So when you start working with a new glue, the room humidity and temperature are the first things to look at to see if they're compatible with the specifics of your glue. And if they're not, you can make the adjustments. Physics. The larger the glue dots, meaning the more adhesive you have picked up, the slower it will cure because you just have more material protecting the core of the glue. So if you pick up too much adhesive, meaning it will cure too, too slow, what to do then? A common mistake, especially for the beginners, is to pick up a lot of glue and then wipe off the excess. This is not a very good idea. I will get to that later why it's not a good idea. But what to do instead? If you pick up too much adhesive, just dip the, uh, dip the lash extension in the glue again and pull it out a little bit slower. The slower you pull out the lashes from the glue dots, the less adhesive you pick up. And the other way around, if your adhesive is curing too fast and you want it to cure a little bit slower, what you can do is dip the extension into the glue a little bit faster. The faster you dip it in, the more glue you pick up. And this is the way you can, uh, you can control uh, the adhesive curing time with physics. 
There's no liquid in the world that will make adhesive cure slower. It's only the amount of adhesive you pick up. Cyanacrylate starts curing when two surfaces come into contact with each other. And this is really important to remember because when you look at different adhesives and when it says that um, a certain glue has a certain curing time, for example 0.5 seconds, it's counted from the time of contact, meaning if these are the natural lashes, when you place the extension on the natural lash, this is how curing time is calculated. So it's important to remember this when you start working because a lot of the retention depends also on lash artist skills. For example, if you're using a glue that's too fast for you, meaning it cures before you reach the natural lash, you will always get bad retention no matter which other liquids you use, which technique you use, because the adhesive has already cured. Because like I said before, there's no way how you can make adhesive cure a lot slower than it's supposed to. So, it's very important to remember, always choose a glue that's compatible with your speed. Don't choose a very, very fast acting glue thinking that it will make your application easier. So if you're a beginner and it still takes you some time to adjust the lash on the natural lash before you're ready to let it go, do choose a slower curing adhesive because like I just explained, if you choose a very fast acting adhesive, meaning it cures in 0.5 seconds, it means that you have 0.5 seconds from the point of contact to let the lash glow, or otherwise it will start affecting the retention. Because, like I said, cyanacrylate, it will start curing upon contact. So if you're a beginner, you take a, let's say, a classic lash, because most beginners start with classic lashes. You take the classic lash, you dip it in the glue, you place it on the natural lash, and if it takes you, let's say, two seconds to kind of like put it in place, make sure you, the direction is correct and everything, and it takes you longer than the glue takes to cure, it means that it starts curing, you break the bonding point to adjust the lash, then you, 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 know, you let go, it cures a little bit more, and the bond will never ever be as strong because you were adjusting the lash when the glue was already curing. So, one more time, do you choose an adhesive that's suitable to your speed, because if you choose an adhesive that's too fast for you, you will never ever get good retention with it. So the secret to get the best retention is having the glue as fresh as possible when you place the extension on the natural lash. And the best way to do that is to pick up a bubble instead of slowly dipping the extension into the glue, because if you have a bubble of glue, the bubble will keep the core or like the inside of the glue wet for longer so it's still wet when you place it on the natural lash and then when it touches the natural lash the bubble will disperse so that the glue bonding point will be as strong as possible because one more time you want the glue to be as fresh as possible when the two surfaces are touching one another so my recommendation is picking up a bubble of glue instead of slowly dipping it in the glue and covering the whole lash with a thin layer of glue. There's only so much you can do with the methods that I've mentioned so far. Because, for example, raising the temperature in your lashing room or the humidity. First, it takes time. And second of all, there's only so much you can do because you can't raise the humidity from, let's say, 10% to 60% unless you have like two days to spare. So there's actually another way how to manipulate cyanacrylate using different liquids for it. Alcohol is the most popular ingredient used in different liquids to manipulate cyanacrylate. Alcohol is amazing because it speeds up adhesive curing time, but it must also always be mixed with something. Because if you use a product that has a very high contact of alcohol, it will make your lashes brittle and it will dry them out. And you don't want this to happen because this can result in loss of retention. So what can we do with alcohol? Alcohol is the main ingredient and it has been in all of the traditional primers. So in the primers you usually have a mixture of alcohol and water and what it does is it will speed up adhesive curing time and it will also open cuticles 
so it will help with retention. Nowadays, more and more alcohol-free primers are coming out and they actually apply a different methods for working. So the alcohol-free primers, they work by raising the pH of the lashes, which is actually a lot healthier for your lashes, as it doesn't dry them out. Speed up solutions, also known as glue accelerators, actually have pretty much the same idea as a primer. They're usually just a little bit more aggressive, so they're more efficient in what they do. And that's the reason why you usually have to use speed up solutions on the extensions while they're still on the strip and not on the client's natural lashes because the product is so aggressive that it's not okay to use it on the natural lashes. So we created Adhesive Super Dry to have a dual function. It acts both as a primer and also as a glue accelerator, meaning that you can use Super Dry both on the client's natural lashes and also while the extensions are still on the, on the strip. Because Adhesive Super Dry has a very, very low amount of alcohol, so it's not an aggressive product. And it prepares the lashes by raising the pH not using alcohol as the main active ingredient. The other difference between super dry and regular speed up solutions is that normally speed up solutions, like the name says, they add a little bit of speed to the adhesive curing time. But super dry, it turns any adhesive, no matter the original curing time or ro your room humidity and temperature, into a contact adhesive, meaning that from the time of contact, you have 0.5 to 1 second before the adhesive is cured. Another way to control your adhesive is by using glue stop. So glue stop is a liquid that we developed specifically to stop the glue from traveling up between your lash bands and closing them. You just apply a little bit of the glue stop onto the lashes while they're still on the strip and it will block the glue from traveling up. So, we spoke about the liquids that you can use before the treatment, a primer, a product you can use during the application, a speed up solution to manipulate cyanacrylates, and now the only thing we recommend using after the treatment to increase retention is a super banner. So, Super Banner is a liquid that we developed, number one, to seal adhesive fumes so that your client's eyes are no longer irritated after the treatment, and number two, to increase retention by up to 30%. It sounds incredible, I know, and it is actually if you think about it, and the way that it works is that Super Banner, it seals the surface of the adhesive and it pushes humidity out so that the glue bonding point shrinks, creating a tighter bond around the natural lash. And Super Bonder is really easy to use as well. So all you have to do is wait two minutes after you finish the treatment, get a small drop, apply it on a microfiber brush, and then cover all the bonding points from the top and also underneath to make sure that all of the bonding points are actually covered with Super Bonder. You wait three minutes, and after the three minutes, your customers can apply mascara, take a shower, or even go swimming, and nothing whatsoever will happen to their lashes. So these are the different ways how you can manipulate or control your lash adhesive. And it's super important to really understand them, because if you don't, then you will never be able to control your lash glue, and it will always control you instead. And you will keep wondering why sometimes your lash glue works perfectly and then other times it doesn't want to cooperate at all. There's no point in asking what's the best lash glue in different lash groups because everyone's working environment is different and everyone's application method is different. So something that might work for one lash artist may not work for you at all because you never know what's their, their conditions, their room humidity and their temperature. So what I recommend doing instead, when you get a new lash glue, take the time to learn how it works if it's not being manipulated, meaning how it cures naturally in your lash environment. And then try to manipulate it with liquids based on what you need to do. 
So one more time, if you want to get the best retention out of whatever lash glue you are working with, then do take the time to learn how to use it. You can always ask for recommendations from your lash supplier instead of just thinking that the glue does not work and you rushing to buy the next glue in hopes that this will offer better retention. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video will help you in your work. If you like it, don't forget to give it a like. If you have any questions, comment them down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode.